Shalom, shalom. I'm a little, what, two minutes early, maybe. <laughs> shalom, shalom, Shadika. It's so good to see you, sweetheart. Shalom, shalom. Yes, absolutely. To God be the glory. I like that. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Love is the answer. And, you know, if more of us would trust in, in God, there would be a little bit less fear in this world. Shalom, shalom, oh McMoney. It's good to see you, Monica, Monica. My beautiful sister's coming on board. Shalom, shalom, family. I hope you have your coffee or your tea or whatever it is that you're drinking this morning. Uh, settle in and settle down. We're going to chat for a little bit today, if that's all right with you. Shalom, shalom, beautiful Eve New Beginnings. It's good to see you, sweetheart. And all oh, good vibes. Shalom, shalom, my beloved brother Malik. Good to see you. Now I see you and Tamika Rob, my, uh, more of my, my beautiful sisters coming on board. Look, and my beloved brother uh, Maurice is here with us today and, and beautiful Rachel. No, Raquel, that's who that is. Oh, McMoney. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> I might be able to see a little bit better. Uh, Raquel, child of the most high God. Shalom, shalom, beautiful. It is so good to see you all. Oh, McMoney has her coffee. I have coffee this morning too, because you know what? I've been doing the uh, the clothes in the morning. Remember I was telling you about that, uh, chewing on the whole clothes and then I chase it down with my coffee. So I've been doing coffee, haven't tried it with the tea. However, I believe it will be very good with the tea as well. Look at Triple Threat Firearms and Defense Incorporated. Shalom, shalom, my beautiful sister. Guys, if you are interested in learning about firearms and and she does some other things, Triple triple Threat Firearms has a channel. Go share your love with her. Go over to her channel and, and show her some love. And also, Maurice Feaster, our brother here, he does a awesome job with teaching. So please go over to uh, Maurice's uh, channel as well and offer him some, some love and some support as well. All right. Good morning. Good morning to you, Ingrid. Shalom, shalom. All right. Shalom, shalom, everybody. All right. So what was the title today? Does anybody remember? <laughs> You Lee, shalom, shalom. Your mom watches me all the time, bless her heart. And Samantha B, the head nerdly. I was thinking about you the other day. You know, it's it's interesting because the, the most high, blessings to you, my beautiful sister Samantha, but the most high will will bring people's names, you know, across my 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 brain waves, okay, from time to time. So I was thinking good thoughts of you the other day. It's good to see you, Ingrid, and Shalom, Shalom, Janice Hackler. So the, the title of this, this video, I'm talking to you guys uh, today about prepping, a little bit about prepping. Okay, maybe a little bit more than a little bit about prepping. Um, you know, I'm going to revisit some of the things that I said beforehand because sometimes things need to be repeated, right? Are you guys okay with that? So, um, you know, one of the things that I, uh, let me take this off. One of the things that I uh, wish that this setup that I'm doing right now would do is put my <laughs> title up there so I can repeat it, but it doesn't. And I didn't write it down, but that's okay. I know I talked about the hazmat set, uh, hazmat suits. Is that something that we need to do at this point in time? Okay. You guys are aware of the The I was going to almost say shenanigans, but you guys are aware of the train derailment in Ohio and the chemical spill that took place there. And then thereafter, they what did they do? They incinerated it so that they could 
diffuse the situation, but my understanding of them diffusing the situation caused, um, what do they call it? Uh, chemical ash to be created when they did that with the atmosphere and all the other scientific stuff that they would talk about. It uh, was said to have created a chemical ash that is now, you know, has, has deposited itself in the environment, uh, not only to create havoc for the people that live there, also for the soil, the animals, you name it, right? So you guys are familiar with all of that. So, you know, somebody asked the question a little while back. Um, you know, there was two questions that came up. How do you know when you have enough preps? Okay. And how do you know how far to go with your preps? Right. When do you get to the point where you say, I have enough or I have covered everything? When do you do that? Right. Do you, do you try to prepare for everything? Can you prepare for everything? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to take my glasses off because, um, I'll put them back on if I need to really, really see. But here's the thing about that family. Can you prepare? Let me ask you in the family uh, to answer some of these questions with me. Can you be prepared for everything that that might come our way? What are you, what would you say on that? Okay. Okay. Uh, Eve New Beginning says no. Janice says no. Old McMoney says no. Uh, Raquel says no. And absolutely, you're right. You're right. You cannot. Uh, you can try. You can do the best you can, right? But this is it right there. Raquel has it. What we do is we will put our trust in God. You know what? He will make a way for us, okay? And you'll get messages. You know, if you're if you're in tune to, to the Most High, Holy Spirit, and the Messiah, you will get messages on what you need to do. Uh, and if you don't believe that, then guess what? When it comes time for us to need to run, to, to head for the hills, uh, to go into the wilderness, if you don't believe that we get messages, guess what? You're going to miss that message because they will tell us where we need to go, when we need to go, who we need to be with. <laughs> we will get messages from the Most High. You can count on that. So we get messages from time to time to go pick this up or you'll see something in the store and you're not even thinking about prepping or what have you. And you'll get this, this inkling to, to buy it. So you buy it, you take it home and you're, okay, I got it. So I'll just put that in my prep. Well, you know what? A lot of times that's not you thinking that. That's the most high making preparations for you. Okay. So that's not always you. Um, Maurice, you said something I want to highlight here. I don't want to miss that. You said here, I'm a former emergency manager. Day one, I said there was going to be problems with their water. We're talking about the folks in uh, Palestine, uh, um, Ohio, okay? Palestine, Palestine, I forget how it's pronounced. Uh, it's one of those, Ohio. Uh, so yeah, they're having, they're having some major issues and they're not too happy with your president. He hightailed over to, uh, what is it, Kiev, and, and left these people high and dry, all right? I'm saying that they he left them high and dry because that's what they're saying, right? They're feeling like they have been really pretty much abandoned. So thank you for sharing that, uh, Maurice. Trust God, right? You can't be prepared for everything Absolutely, but you can be prepared as much as possible. Um, wow, you know, I'm gonna go down the list real quick. I don't see how your week is doing, right? <laughs> All right, look, let me let me share this with you. These were some of the headlines that that I came across. All right, just this week. All right, you know, this past few days. <sighs> and and let me know if you've heard about this stuff, right? 
All right, let's see. Well, I just mentioned to you, let me start all over again here, start here. I just mentioned to you that, that President Biden uh, did a surprise visit to uh, Kiev. Well, did you know he also announced that he was going to um, he was going to give Ukraine additional military assistance, and he announced five hundred dollars, five hundred million dollars in additional military assistance. Did you hear that? Okay. Did you also hear there was a large explosion in Bed Bedford, Ohio, and I think I uh, Old McMoney or somebody mentioned it in the uh, chat. Okay. Another thing that happened, large fish die off, okay? Large fish die off. A bunch of fish have made it to shore dead in Argentina, okay? A large mass of them. There was a new 6.3 earthquake that uh, struck Turkey and, and Syria. Last I heard, three were killed. Over 200 were hurt. So total in uh, the killed uh, earlier that uh, this month that were killed by the earthquake were 45,000 people. That's a lot of people, okay? Um, and then I heard, this is a rumor. I have, not, I have not verified this, so let it be known. Mary C is saying she hasn't verified it, okay? But I did hear that the folks in Ohio, one week before the derailment, were offered monitoring bracelets, OK, they were digital IDs to track things like their breathing and heart rate and things like that. Uh, uh, it was called, I want to say, my ID emergency bracelets. They were offered that. Go figure. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, it, but like I said, I have not verified that. But that's what I heard happen beforehand. I, another thing that I have heard, but I have not verified. Again, Mary C. hasn't verified it, but I did hear that. That town, I did try to tr try to search it out. I couldn't find it, but it doesn't mean that it's not true. Uh, but I can't verify it. And that's this. The uh, Palestine, uh, Ohio, is said to have been a sundown town. Okay. And if that is the case, then we understand the judgments that are going through. Right. Uh, I can't verify that, though, but that's what I have heard, okay? I did go and look it up, try to look it up, and I couldn't find that information. So if someone out there has that information and they can share it with the family where we can, you know, with the source, um, that would be great. The same thing with the, the My ID bracelets. If you have a source that we can go to, that we can verify that this is, this indeed did happen, you know, uh, that they gave out, they were giving out these bracelets before the derailment, then we kind of know from that, based on that, how this was pretty much planned out. But we kind of already know. But I know. I don't know about you. <laughs> that that this is something that not not coincidences. These are not coincidences. And I kind of said that yesterday. I saw some some uh some new family members that came on board that I didn't greet this morning. So who did I see? Now I see is here. Shalom, shalom, beautiful. Miriam Yah of Bethany. <laughs> you call him Mr. Burns. He knows that place is toxic. And he ain't going <laughs> anywhere near there. Okay. Um, it, it's a shame. It really is a shame. It does. It does. Shalom, shalom, sweetheart. Uh, Milo S. Uh, the fact that he went to, to Ukraine, it says a lot. It really does. Okay. Shalom, shalom, Emmeth. It's good to see you here, sweetheart. And Ahayek in Israel. Shalom, shalom to you. It's good to see you here as well. So did I did I get everyone? And Flo Hughes, good morning, good morning to you as well. Shalom. Shalom. Dominique, it's good to see you here as well. I think I got everybody. Pr Princess Milk.
Yes, yes, yes. Princess Milk Chocolate. It's good to see you here. You know, here, you know what? Yeah. And Susan Zittle, Simone Thompson. You know, I, I really should put my glasses back on, but they are, they, they have this glare on them and I didn't really want to do that. Shalom, shalom, all my beautiful family members. So let me get back to my, to my list. Shalom, shalom, Patricia. It's good to see you, Lioness of Ahia as well. So good, good morning and, and God bless all of you for being here and, and joining me uh, for this, this uh, conversation that we're having. So I stopped off at the ID bracelets, right? I understand that the CDC has updated its guidelines. I haven't had a chance to go and check it out. If you have, uh, you know, add some information in the chat, share it with us. Uh, and then I found out that uh, uh, VP Kamala Harris has accused Russia of crimes against humanity. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? All right, I'm going to go on. Then I also found out that there were explosive devices that were discovered on train tracks. Outside of the Ohio incident, another incident happened where they found explosive devices. What is going on? Okay. And these were found on a uh, train tracks. Uh, and then a wilder man was sentenced uh, recently for possession of an un registered explosive device. This was February 16th, and this was in Vermont. Uh, and, and then some kids, kids found a grenade. All right. This happened in Columbia, Illinois on uh, February 20th. And they had to evacuate the immediate area. And then they had, uh, who was it? Uh, Scott Air Force uh, uh, Air Force came and picked it up and then they took it to an, uh, a safe area and they deemed it it was safe. Uh, but the kids found this. And then in Missouri, a uh, homemade explosive uh, was uh, found and they had a B squad. And when you know what I'm saying when I say a B squad, they had a B squad move it to a safe location and then they rendered it safe. But this is another one in Missouri. What's with all of these? explosive devices being found. What's with all of this? I, I do. Uh, I, I believe there's a question here from Hayekin, uh Israel. Israel. Uh, Sister Mary, you think that spill in Ohio may be judgment on the land? I do. I, at this point in time, we're at the end. We're at the end. And we have, we have the word that tells us that the, he, will, he will avenge those that have been abused, okay? We, we have the word that tells us that. If the father says he's going to do something, we can trust and believe he's going to do it. And if he says he's going to send judgment down on on these folks, and he and, and when I say these folks, we're talking uh, just as we were punished for our ancestors' um, sins, it's going to hit these people as well. The the, the Gentiles, those that were confederate against uh, his chosen ones, yes. And this land has so much blood on it. On, on their hands. They have so much blood that the the blood is crying out from the soil. That's how much blood this place has. That's why I said that uh, when a VP Kamala Harris is accusing Russia of crimes uh, uh, against humanity, that really is and truly uh, the pot calling the kettle black, don't you think? I mean, what do you guys think? I believe the judgment is here. It's already begun. And, and we're seeing the evidence of it with these different insta instances. Um, I, you know, same thing about Turkey. I believe that that's what happened when, when the earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. He, is, he, is, he started the judgment, the, the handing out the judgments. It's here. So that's, that's what I think. I'm, I'm basing it on what I've read in the Bible, but that's what I think. Okay. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, dear, about the reading glasses. Um, Frankfurt sec section of Philly near where I attended high school. I'm assuming that's where some of this stuff is going on. So anyways, let me go finish. Get, let me get back to, to my list because this is a list here. Uh, so I was telling you about the last one was the, the one explosives in, in Missouri. Then, oh my goodness. I told you beforehand that this place is doomed. I, I, I truly believe that. Uh, I don't care how many prayers go up for from uh, folks in this area uh, saying, God bless America. I believe this place is doomed. They, they have they have written, I believe, their last check. OK, and and it's coming back, you know, insufficient funds. All right. Uh, as far as these prayers going up, insufficient funds is what I believe is happening right now. So all those prayers that are being sent up to God bless this place, the, the Heavenly Father has taken his hand and said, no, mm -mm, I'm done with you. I'm done watching you. You have be behaved in a horrible way. You have mistreated my children all over the world. <laughs> I am through with you. And he's doing the same thing with these other nations. But let me tell you what's going on here. You know, a house divided cannot stand, right? And I told you that this place was in trouble before and probably a couple of videos back. Uh, this place is really and truly in trouble. You know, we're looking at outside across the seas at what's going on in these other areas and it hasn't hit us yet. So we're we're less affected until something hits us here. Now, I heard a, I, I have to say this, you know, people hate for me to talk about race and, and skin color and all that other good stuff, but the devil uses it and he uses it. He's, he's, he does really well with it. And he, he gets people to get involved in that craziness. He does. And, and so I am listening to a person talk about uh, two people, first person. I listen to this guy on YouTube all of the time, all of the time. For the most part, I kind of like what he has to say. He kind of gives the news, if you will, but he gives it from a, a, I would tend to say for the most part, a truth-based way of giving the news as it is, right? As it is. One day I got on there and I was listening to him and he got into his feelings. What was he talking about? He was talking about Palestine, Palestine, Ohio, and what was going on there. He was very angry with Biden and how Biden is handling it. And I don't know how or why it is that when people get upset about certain things that they have to drag in us Negroes, OK, as if we had anything to do with it. Right. So he was so angry that he wound up saying something like, had they been, well, you know, all of the folks over in Palestine, Ohio, were all white folks. Had they been people like me, he was saying. Biden would have done something about it. And I'm sitting there like, wow, really did you? And, and I actually, you know, I didn't normally, don't normally uh, chat in with the conversation, but I actually typed in, wow, I can't believe you really said that. Does he, is he not aware of the water being poisoned that hasn't been fixed yet? <laughs> I'm like, how did we get thrown into the mix? You know, we had nothing to do with that, 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 uh, you know, derailment or the chemical spill. How did it leave us out of that? You know what I'm saying? But we always get thrown to the wolves, always, no matter what. And I'm like, I thought this guy was cool. I thought this guy was cool. And now I'm sitting back and saying, hmm, he's not so cool. So anyways, I listened to him the other day. And then I heard another one. And he was, he's more of a, this guy does his own channel stuff. The, the first one I was talking about, this guy here is an anchor. 
And I heard him on there speaking about what was going on in the tragedy in Ohio with the chemical spill. It is a tragedy, no doubt about it. But I heard him say, well, this is horrible. It's not like we are like India. I just can't believe something like this would happen here. And, and for us to, 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 you know, the president to, to behave the way he's, it's not like we're some, some third world country. This is America. As if America is only lily white and can only be touched by heavenly angels and nothing else. I, I was, I, I'm floored by the racism that's coming out of the mouths of some of these people. But racism doesn't exist, and we always call it, uh, always, they're always saying that we, we're pulling a race card. Well, I guess we are because we have to. This is ridiculous. You know, and, and I, I'm like, what has that have to, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? But the, the things that, the arrogance of the, the people of this country, the arrogance in believing that nothing is supposed to touch this area, nothing is supposed to go bad and go wrong. Well, I'm here to tell you that I haven't even finished going through my list. This place is a mess. I'm going to keep going down my list, but this place is a mess. Look at our infrastructure. How stable is our infrastructure? How stable are our grids? Antiquated, a lot of them. Right? How stable? You, you expect this place to stay, you know, uh, the, the top of the line, the power, the power, uh, you know, country. It's come to an end. It's come to an end. It has been prophesied. There's no turning back at this point. It's too late. We are being attacked from the inside. From the inside. Right? Absolutely. We're pulling the race car because they dealt it. Stop doing it. And, you know, it, it, it's not going to stop. You know, when we will have, <laughs> when we'll have a little bit of a rest is when the Messiah comes. When that king comes, that's when we're going to have a little bit of a rest. Family, don't expect it anytime soon. Okay. I mean, don't expect these guys to change anything for us anytime soon. When that happens is when the Messiah comes. That's when you can count on it, all right? Because that that's the area that we need we need to be looking into. I, I watched another one the other day, and he has his own channel, and he another one that's angry and frustrated about what's going on, um, you know, uh, and and he was going on about we need to you know we need to step up and and do for ourselves, and 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 I made the mistake of of thinking. You know what? We do need to step up and think for ourselves and do for ourselves and things like that. But at the same time, where is your trust in the most high? I didn't, I'm not hearing any trust. Uh, and, and this man is supposedly a believer. Where is your trust in the most high? You know, and and he he was like, I don't want to hear nothing, anything about religion. It, trust in the most high is religious. that's religious now <laughs> i'm like no baby you've lost your way you've lost it somehow some way you've allowed your your feelings your your flesh to rise above your faith in the most high and understanding that every everything has a purpose and that everything that happens he is aware of and I wanted to say that to him, but I, he he was so focused and and blocked into his his flesh, he wouldn't have heard me. 
he wouldn't have heard me. So, so we have to stay out of our flesh for one, okay? Uh, but we're not going to see these changes that you, you know, uh, some people have been fighting for years to see changes racially and, and equality. You're not going to see that. It's not going to happen. Not until the Messiah comes. So stop waiting on that. It's not going to happen. You're going to have allies that will talk good talk and, and you know, you're going to have uh, those that, that will say that they're going to do this, that, and the other, and they don't follow through with it. But for the most part, and then you're always going to have those that will lynch you just as soon as you blink. Okay. It, it, they're still out there. They haven't gone anywhere. They're still there. If you, if you believe that that's over with, then, you know, I'll pray for you because it's not over. They've, they've pretty much uh, hidden a lot of that. Okay. But it's not over. It's not over. I'm sorry to, to, you know, to tell it to you like it is, but it's not over. Okay. And we need to keep that in mind. Who is our savior? We can't expect these men, mere men to be saviors for us. It's that's not how it's written. <laughs> it's just not how it's written. So, uh, it, it, it won't happen that way, right? It's just not going to happen that way. So uh, we, we get to the point where I'm saying that this country is in trouble and this country is divided. It's divided in so many different ways. It's just unbelievable. This, this place is divided. And, the, and, and we've heard it said that a, a, a home divided will not stand, right? A house divided will not stand. So Marjorie Taylor Greene, is calling for a national divorce, separate by the red and the blue states so that we can shrink the federal government is what she says, right? Separate, she's talking about six, what is it? succession, right? Red state go their way, the blue state go their way and everybody will be happy. That's that's what she's she's saying. She's getting a little bit of pushback for it, from it, but she's got a lot of people that, that uh, are, you know, are in her corner with that. If that isn't division, what is <laughs> that right there? You know, any any of our enemies on the outside looking in can see <laughs> the state that we're in. It, it, we're not hiding it. They see the state that we're in as far as the citizens. They see how the wealthy keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor. They see how our veterans are treated. It, th there's no secret in how, how things are going here in this country. They see how black men and women, children even, are treated in this country. They see all of this. They know we have huge, I mean, major issues. They, they're watching. Just like you and I are sitting back and saying, Oh, wonder what's going on with the, the food processing plants. We, we don't know whether that's an inside job or an outside job. And the reason why I say we don't know whether it's an inside job or an outside job is because we have allowed the outside to come in because they, they look like the powers that be, so they must be okay. So we have allowed the inside or the outside to come in. And those that don't look like those that are in power, they've allowed to buy up land. One of them, one of our major food meat processors is owned by China, along with the land. So we have we have agents, you know, agents and soldiers who have crossed the border without issue because they're white. They're, they're, they're inside. So we supposedly blew up that pipeline. I know you guys have heard all of this. I, I don't know if I should be saying this or not, but we supposedly did that, right? If you were Russia, what would you be doing? Would you just let that, just sweep that under the rug and, and, and go about your merry way? Or would you be thinking retaliation? 
And if you've got operatives already here, why not do something about it? What caused that, that train to derail? Does anyone know who's behind it? Was it just an accident? Okay, so we need to start thinking about what's going on in our immediate areas. Just because, you know, a lot of the stuff has been happening overseas and we haven't seen anything here, we're thinking we're untouchable. We're the untouchables here. Not. We are and have been for a long time the schoolyard bullies. Bullies. The biggest, the baddest bullies. We weren't kind because we could be. Nope. We chose to exercise our power, our strength in ways that many of those folks overseas we're not grateful for. How many friends do we really have that we haven't had to pay or to do something for in order to have them on our side or threaten? You see what I mean? So, It, it, it's just, it's amazing to me. And then we have, we have these folks that keep talking about woke. I'm so sick of hearing. I, and okay, let me say this. Y'all know me, all of you, all of my family, black, white, green, purple, all of my family, you know, I love you, right? You know this, there's, that's no secret. And whether you're right or wrong, I'm going to call you out. Whether you're black or white, I'm going to call you out, okay? Green, purple, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call you out. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Uh, that's what my mother taught me, you know. If there's somebody that's out there, looks exactly like me, that's out there doing wrong, you know what? I'm not going to support it. Wrong is wrong. That's what I was taught. Right is right, all right? So that's where Mary C. is. But I am so sick of of our white cousins talking about this woke stuff. They don't want to teach the kids true history because they're putting off some kind of a, a, a phrase of, of wokeism that they're using wrong. So I'm going to say this. They stole yet another phrase from the Israelites, okay? another phrase, and they're using it the wrong way. Woke doesn't mean that you, oh, that, that, that's somebody who just includes everybody and just, oh, that's woke. No, honey. Woke means that's somebody who is now alert to the truth. If truth ain't in there, they ain't woke. They're not. If truth isn't in there, they're not woke. I'm not woke because I have all of a sudden decided that I am okay with calling a, a guy, a man, a male, she, it, them, they, whatever. That does not make me woke because there is no truth in that. If the Heavenly Father created that male with a male part. He is a male. That's true. That makes me woke. Okay. So I know I'm going to make some people mad with this, but that's the, I'm, I'm so sick of hearing this woke stuff. So, so, uh, you know, they, they're talking about not, it's February. And, and I hate the idea that we have to have a, a Black History Month here. We're in February. And you're woke if you're involved in things like that. They have associated their woke 
with blackness, uh, with diversity, with that's not woke. I'm sorry. Stop using it that way. That's not woke. It, it, are you guys with me on this? Do you understand what I'm saying? That, exactly. Monica, Monica. Exactly. They have co-opted and changed the meaning of woke. That's not what woke means. You know, Biden isn't woke because he went to, to Ukraine and, 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 and have not done enough in their eyes for the folks in Ohio. That doesn't, that, there's no woke in that. Stop using it like that. Marjorie Taylor Greene's talking about the wokeism of, 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 you know, the blue states and she wants to separate the red states because, the, you know, the wokeism. That's not wokeism. Sorry, sorry, family. That's not, that's not how it works. It, it, it just doesn't work that way. Excuse me. And and so so they want to succeed from the from the the rest of the the states. Blue against the red. So so Russia comes in, China comes in. We got blue and we got red, and they're and they're fighting each other. Who's gonna win? <laughs> Who wins in that in in that uh, case? You got blue and you got red. What are these people focusing in on? Do, you know, and on one side, you got them stirring up trouble outside of our country to bring in enemies. And then the other side, they're stirring up trouble in the pot inside of, of, of this country. What is wrong with these people? Shalom, shalom, Miss Gordon. It's good to see you. And Sophie, yeah, it's good to see you too, beautiful. Unvaccinated, it's good to see you also. Uh, it, he's, you know what? I, I will give, what, what is it? Let me see where it went to. I will give, it won't show. There it is. Thinking Joe Him is your president, it ain't woke either. You're I'm assuming you're talking about me, okay? But I'm going to I'm going to do this, okay? They put him in place. I did not, but they put him in place. That is his title. So I'm giving it to him. So if you I, I don't know if that's how you uh, how you meant it to be, just let me know, but if you have a problem with me calling him that, I'm telling you that's why I'm doing it, okay? Out of respect, that's what they put they put him in. That's who he is. That's his title. So that's why I do that. Okay? It is what it is, right? It, it, a lot has changed, a lot. Uh, Princess Milk, crazy part is they've changed the meaning of Christianity. They've perverted it, you know, but if you think about it, back in the day, they didn't call themselves Christians. They didn't. That's that's a fairly new term, if you will, and it's not a not an Israelite term. But I appreciate that comment. What did I miss? And, and thank you. Same mess, opposite wings of the same bird. Thank you, my beloved brother. Yeah, we woke to the truth. That's right. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> it moved on me again. There it is. Lala said it. Woke means we no longer sleep to their lies. Yes, yes, yes. That's the we're we're awake it, to the truth. It is what it is. So anyhow, so we got all of these things that that are going on, and and so I wanted to say that that I was you know just. To the point of if every time I hear them saying something about the woke culture, I'm like, you ain't got a clue. You don't know. You don't know what you're saying. You, you have no no idea what you're really saying when you say that. Um, 
you've, you've taken something, run with it, and you don't even know what it, it means. So uh, after I wrote, I read the whole list of things that's been going on this week. How's your week going? <laughs> How's your week going? <laughs> oh, so so we got we got um, the environment looking the way it, it looks now over in Ohio. And those people are catching it right now, right? Those people are catching it. Shalom, shalom, sharper one. It's good to see you and also loves you. Yeah, I didn't speak to you. Shalom, shalom to all of you. So anyways, those people are catching it over there. So how many of you, and, and you don't have to show in the in the chat, I'm just going to throw it out there. How many of you have prepped enough that you have a uh, gas mask at home, a hazmat suit, uh, um, uh, water purification? You know, these are some of the things that those folks over there it makes you wonder if they had those things, would it help them? The the water purification, I think it's going to help no matter what. But had those people thought ahead of time to get the hazmat suits and the, the gas mask, was that something or is that something that you guys have even thought about? I, I, I don't know. Let me, let me see. I'm, I'm going to change change directions just a little bit. It's good to see you too, Connie LaKay. It's, it's good to see you also, sweetie. Shalom, shalom. So uh, OTCS has just watched the live speech from Putin. He says NATO and Western allies are leading their people down the path of destruction. And who's going to fight the war? that these NATO and Western allies, Western leaders, who, who's going to go out and, excuse me, and fight these battles? Your kids, your grandkids, your family members, not theirs. You know, that's that's like the kid in the, you know, the kid that hangs out with the bully. <laughs> the kid that hangs out with the bully is the one with the loose, loose, loose tongue, talks a, uh, a big talk. Because they know that they've got the bully to back them up, right? So they go out and they cause uh, confusion. What did they used to call it when, when we were in school? Oh, what did they call it? He's a, a oh, I can't even think of the word right now. Would, this person would go and stir up trouble, right? Go and stir up trouble. And then because they knew that the big and bad person could come and, and fight the battle at the, you know, at, when it was all said and done. And that's how I see this. You know, we're out there stirring up trouble. We got these, these, the little punies out there stirring up trouble. And when it's all said and done, then they, they expect this big, bad country of ours, the, the military to go in and defend what they've done and what they've said. And after they've stirred up trouble, okay, that's that's how I see this. Oh, you missed it, a wife. Shalom, shalom, sweetheart. I went down a whole list of things. <laughs> instigators, yes, we always had instigators. They were they were troublemakers. They were troublemakers. They'd instigate against this one to put this one against this one, and that's what's going on. And and is he is Putin wrong? I mean, is he far off? with saying that they're stirring up trouble. I believe they are. I believe they are, but they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know, everything is going according to plan. It, they're doing what they need to do. And, and we are going to war. You know, I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. And I know a lot of people don't believe it. We are going to war. It is going to happen. Uh, you know, they're pushing it. They're pushing it. But see, this time around, in the past, when the bully went out to do, do damage, they did damage and were pretty successful for the most part, okay, because they were running things. This is going to be a different story for them. They're not ready for it. It's not going to turn out like it has always done in the past this time. This time it's going to be different, and they're not going to be expecting it. They're expecting to be on top.
You know what? Uh, pink light. Here's the thing about that. Can can we we talked about it when we first came on? Can we be prepared for every instance? every occurrence, every emergency. Can we do that? The answer to that is no, we can't. But we can be as best prepared as, we, as possible, right? And if you are in an area and you, and you put your trust in the most high, if you are in an area that needs to be evacuated quickly, I hope and I pray that you have a to-go bag ready, okay? If you have to evacuate and leave your other items there. I pray that you have a to-go bag ready, okay? Everyone should have that. You should have a to-go bag ready in your house. And if you have a vehicle and you can leave with your vehicle, you should have a bag in your vehicle. Well, let me tell you a little story, okay? I went to the grocery store the other day, all right? And I put, I took my mom, okay? So, and and I have... Uh, a vehicle that if she gets a lot, I put her stuff in the trunk. So her stuff is separate from my stuff. And I put all of my stuff in the uh, back seat area, right? And so that's where I had everything at. Well, I know when I'm taking her to the store, I will take uh, my car bag that has all my emergency stuff in it, food and everything else in it. I will take that and put it in the in the back seat so that when you know we're taking her things out, if anybody's helping us, they won't take my bag with them, right? And so um, I put my bag, the emergency bag, in the back seat. Now my husband hasn't seen this bag, right? So I come back from the grocery store. Hubby comes out to help me take the food. <laughs> the groceries in, and uh, and and you know a lot of us use uh, uh, reusable bags for our groceries, you know, to save the environment, that type of thing. And so I use reusable bags too, okay? So I he's taken, he grabs bags and he takes them into the house. And I had already taken a load in and was getting ready to come back out. And I happened to look down, there's my emergency bag in the house. So of course I'm going out and he's coming in. So I just grabbed the bag and I'm like, you brought in my emergency bag. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I saw food in it. <laughs> and I thought it was food to come in. And so I had to take my emergency bag out. I just wanted to share share that cute story. But you need to have not only an emergency bag in your house, but you have one for your vehicle, you know, if you have a vehicle, all right? So uh, in, in the case of, of leaving your, your things, trust and believe that if you have to leave your items, that when you go to the next place that you need to go for safety, or if you can come back home, you can come back to your things. But if you, you can't go back home, trust and believe that the Most High will provide for you wherever you go. And the items that you left, he's going to make sure that someone who is part of the family, will family of believers, will find access to your items that they need. I believe that he's going to, it, we don't just prep for us. I don't believe that. I believe that the Most High is having us prep for a reason. And it's not just for us. There will be people who will make journeys. You will be one of those possibly that will make a journey from one place to the next place in order to, to gain safety. So uh, it may not all be for you in the first place. You know, talk to the, the Heavenly Father. And, and see what he has to say about it. So we can't be prepared for everything, but we can try to be prepared for most things, okay? Uh, if that means to buy a hazmat set, a suit, you can buy one. They're on uh, Amazon. If that means that you need to, to buy a, a gas mask, if you can afford to get it, go ahead and get it. Uh, let the Holy Spirit and the Most High guide you. And don't ever think that you don't have enough. You always take everything you you everything you take it to the most high i think that that's where a lot of people uh find themselves uh, uh you know uh burdened down with fear and and um thinking that they had to, they don't have enough if you take it to the heavenly father it you know I, i'll everything goes to him 
I think that a lot of people are preppers, but they don't have the foundation of having, having a relationship with the Heavenly Father. They have things. They have supplies. They have food, but they don't have a relationship. Without that relationship, you don't have cover. So that food and that, uh, you know, uh, the supplies that you have, somebody else could come and take them because you don't have any cover. You need more than just your physical supplies. You need more than just your, your physical food. You need to have a relationship with the most high because all of the stuff that's going on in the world, there is a battle that is going on. It is a spiritual battle as well as we're going to start seeing even more of a physical battle. If you don't have that foundation of the most high, if you don't have the Holy Spirit so that you have discernment. You can tell when an enemy, you're facing an enemy. I'm sorry. Hold on just a second, please. Sorry, family. Hello? Hey, baby. I'm I'm doing a, a live right now. That's okay. Is there is some, something wrong? Oh, okay. All right. Love you. Bye. All right. Although my children are adults, if one of them calls, I want to make sure that they're okay. So let me, I'm turning this off so that I won't have to be uh, interrupted again. My apologies for that family. So, um, but she's fine. That, that's one of my daughters and she's fine. Shalom, shalom, true finder. So family, I was telling you that you need to have more than just your 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 prep supplies and prep food. You need to have a relationship. Anybody who doesn't believe that they, they need to have a relationship, just wait and see. We'll see how far you get when the when the the, the rocks start flying and 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 the dust is all over the place. We'll see how far you get. Okay. Um I'm uh, when I say this, I'm saying this for a reason. You need to have the Heavenly Father. You really and truly do. Okay. You can prep all you want, but won't do you a lick of good if you don't have any coverage. All right. I'm just laying it on the line here, family. Oh, I love that. I, I watch him too. I do. I watch him too. Oh, McMoney. Uh Truth Unedited talks about this. He says, preps our resources, not our source. We need to be seeking the most high. Absolutely. That's it right there. That's it right there. Shalom, shalom under the oaks. It's good to see you, sweetie. Okay, so we're getting into an hour. It's good to see you also, Esther Lean. It's good to see you, Donna H. Okay. So, so I just wanted to uh, come and, and, and tell you, if you're feeling like you're preps, that you're lacking in this area or that area, and there are a whole lot of people that are out there and they're selling the prep products and, and things like that. Uh, a lot of that stuff is, is super expensive. Um, I'm, I'm a dollar store prepper. Okay. I, I'm just going, I'm, I, you, you guys know me. You know how frugal I am. You know, if it's something that, that is worth the money that you, you feel that you need to get, go ahead and get it. You know, go ahead and spend the money for it. But I'm a, I'm one of those uh, who truly believes that a lot of the items that we can prep, store in our house, store in our car, put in our, our to-go bags or our uh, bug out bags, you can get for little to nothing at these dollar stores. Hit your dollar general, hit your, your dollar tree, hit your, uh, and, and I'm a big uh, advocate for thrifting. Hit your thrift stores. If you don't have a bug out bag, please go get one. It, it, if nothing, go get yourself or use one of your kids' old uh, backpacks. You saw that I, sh I shared the trailer for that movie, The White, uh, White Noise, is the same type of an event that happened in Ohio where those folks were told to evacuate the, 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 the area. Are you ready? If someone comes to your area and says that you need to evacuate, 
Are you ready to evacuate? Would you be dependent on the system to make sure that you have water and food and, and, and uh, you know, a few uh, extra items of clothing? Would you be dependent on the system? Or could you and your family go out in the woods and stay there for a few days if you needed to and, and, and you know, survive? Um, right now, a lot of folks have family, so they could, you know, that may not be in the immediate area. So if you have to pack your bags and go to your family, you know, a lot of times we don't stop and think, well, I can take a bag with me to my family. It's kind of ease, ease their, their burden a little bit. Uh, we don't think about that because it's family, but we should. We should. Okay. So these folks, I'm, I'm wondering how many of those folks were caught off guard that weren't ready to, be, to, to evacuate when they had to evacuate. I wonder how many of them had bug out bags that they could take with them. Are we seeing a taste of what is to come? Will we see more of this? I told you about the bombs, the, I probably shouldn't have said bombs, but the explosive uh, devices that they've been finding all over the place. Is it an accident? I don't think that it's an accident that, that they're coming across these people or these, these devices. Coincidence? No. I believe that they're being planted. Internally, we have things going on. Internally, we have gotten to the point where, again, as us being the bullies that we are, we've gotten to the point that the little weaklings that we used to call the little weaklings are fighting back. They're no longer sitting down and, and, and taking what we dish out. They're not. And I don't blame them. Do you? You hit me enough times. There's going to come a point where I'm going to say, you know what? That's the last time you're going to hit me. And I'm not a violent person. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a violent person. But there's only so much person can take. So if, if we're doing things outside to these other nations and those nations have people inside, why wouldn't they take a couple of shotguns or whatever it takes and go to a uh, power area, power station, shoot at it? Do we know if that was inside or, or outside? Meaning, do we know, was that inside terrorism? meaning our own American citizens, or was it someone that we allowed to come into this country to live as a citizen, but they're an operative for a nation outside? Do we know? Do we know? You know? We don't. We don't know. We don't. So the rumor is, another rumor, again, I don't have any anything to substantiate it, but it's another rumor, is that we're going to end up having some problems with our grid systems. And again, they're antiquated. Most of them, they're old. And if you know this and I know this, guess who else knows this? Our enemies know this. What happens if the grid goes down in certain areas? Everybody gets the scrambling. In your area, if the grid goes down and you need to go and get, let's say, milk. You go to the store, grid's down, no electricity in the store. Most of the registers and everything is run by electricity. Unless you got a mom and pop store uh, in the neighborhood. And then if they if you have a mom and pop store in the neighborhood, they're going to require that you pay by cash. And if you don't have any cash or if you have a 20 or 50, the chances are they're not going to be able to give you any change. And that's why Mary C. said go to the bank and get you some money. Get singles, get fives, get tens, get 20s. But make sure you have a lot of singles and fives. 
I'm trying my best, family, to break it down for you. I'm trying my best to tell you to get yourselves to the point where you you don't don't expect to be ready for everything. But for the the you know, there are things that you can do to get ready for some of the things that are going to happen. If we're seeing a foreshadow of what is to come, Get your get your preps ready. Be on be on on what is it? Uh, not standby. What is it when you're on? Be 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 on guard. Okay, be on guard. Don't wait for something bad to happen before you step up and do something. Do it now. If you suspect something, like if 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 in, indeed those folks in Ohio were offered bracelets. OK, uh, uh, my ID emergency bracelets, if they were offered that one week before the derailment. Some antennas should have gone up, I'm thinking, why are you offering those uh, ID bracelets, emergency ID bracelets to this community? You know, what is this, some kind of a, a beta test? Are we going to be guinea pigs for something? That would be a conversation. You know, anytime they offer like flu shots for free, remember when, when they first came out, you had to pay for them or, you know, if, if your insurance didn't, didn't cover it, you had to pay for it. And all of a sudden they, they became free. Anything that they just give away free, my, my antennas go up and I'm like, why? And then with this, this, you know, that they were giving everybody and then they were offering incentives like, uh, you know, if you, if you get it, if you get this, we'll give you lottery tickets. We'll, well, you know, you get a car and you get this and you get all these other things. And I'm like, why are they offering incentive? If, if everything is is good to go, why would you have to to offer me something free as an incentive in order to do something that's going to help me if it really and truly is to help me, right? Mm-hmm. Now I see, I like that. Uh, family, we gotta be two to three steps ahead. You get up in the morning, you ask the father. Father, you direct my steps today. You you direct my path. What is that? Proverbs um, three and six. In all things or in everything, in everything, acknowledge him. See, I can relate every walk of this journey of ours back to the Bible. And, and I know that, you know, again, like that young man said, he didn't want to hear about anything religious at this point. I'm just mad. He didn't, didn't want to hear anything religious. But honey, that's my life. That's my life. If the Bible tells me that in everything I can acknowledge the Heavenly Father and he can direct my paths and he knows what's going to happen before I know or anybody else knows. Who do I want to direct my path? I want him to do it, right? It's foolishness to say that that's religion. That's not religious. That's my life. So, so if that's what he tells us to do, direct my path. So get up in the morning and that's what you do. You ask him to direct you, to send you in the direction you need to go. So in an event that something like that does occur, he will cover you. You will know what to do because he will tell you what to do. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm not some special kind of person or anything. I'm just a human being just like the rest of you guys. If I can talk to him, you can talk to him. If he can give me information, he can give it to you too. Stop depending on other folks out there to give you a prophecy of what is going to happen when you can pick up your own, your own Bible. You see, my Bible is, is all taped up and it's used. You know, this is this is one of many, but this is one of my favorite ones. OK, um, but and, and marked up on the inside, you know, that this book is, is marked up. And so you 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 read it. You read it. And it will guide you. 
He will speak through this book, but he'll also speak through other people. So I'm not saying don't listen to prophecy. I'm not saying that. He will speak through other people. But don't depend on always hearing from these people. Because what happens when we get cut off from the internet? And it's, it's going to happen. What happens when we get cut off from the internet? And you don't have access to somebody that, that is, is throwing those prophecies out there every day. I don't know how they're doing it. Because I don't get information like that on a daily basis. Like he's, you know, he's downloading. No, I don't get it like that. But that's just me. That's just me speaking. But there's some folks that say that they get prophecies every day. Okay. Maybe so. But it don't work that way for me. You know, I, I, I have to, I wait on him. I wait on him to, to uh, if you will, download to me. And it doesn't happen every day. Okay, it doesn't happen every day, but he lets us know what we need to know when we need to know it. And you, if you're depending on somebody and the internet goes down, you, you know, the grid goes down, what are you going to do? You need to be able to pick up the Bible and read it. You, you need to be able to trust that the Father will guide you through the, the Holy Spirit to do what needs to be done, to go where you need to go. Okay. So I'm, I'm on here. It's an hour. I'm going to cut it short at this point. I know that's not really short, but short for the last few that I've been doing is short. Uh, unless you guys have any uh, comments or questions or anything like that, I, I'm going to let you guys go and finish the rest of your day. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I tried the premiere the other day. And I have to tell you, family, it was a lot of work and it took me all day. That that video is not the best. It's choppy. I'm not the best at editing. I'm just going to tell you it, it is what it is. All right. It was choppy. It's not the best type of, uh, of uh, video that I was able to put together. It took me all day to put it together. I don't have that kind of time. I, I don't. I don't have that kind of time. Uh, you know, I'm I'm. I'm a businesswoman, I'm a wife, you know, and I, I, I'm doing this for the, the Heavenly Father. Uh, but that was so complicated and it was just too much for me. I don't know that I'm going to be doing a premiere like that one again. Uh, we'll try it out when I've got more time and I can see if I can uh, fine tune it. I, I might do something then, but up and, uh, you know, until I can do that, mm -mm. So I'll probably be doing because I can get in, do what I need to do or say what I need to say. If the if the father wants me to hang on uh, uh, to be on here longer, I'll, I'll, you know, hang out with you guys uh, longer. If he you know, if it's his will. All right. His will be done. Uh, I'll do what he has me to do. But there are also other things that he has me doing as well. And so. It's quick for me to come in, do a live and then I can. OK. I had my husband laughing at me uh, last night, but he understood where I was coming from. The other part of doing the premiere, <laughs> uh, family, <laughs> I have to share this with you. The other part that I had issue with, <laughs> with doing that premiere is Mary C is slow with the typing. I'm not a texter. OK, and this is like texting. So when you're in the premiere, I can't just talk to you like I'm talking to you now. It's quicker and easier for me to just say what I'm going to say. And then I'm on, on the premiere last night and I'm typing. And by the time I get finished typing, you guys are already into next week. And I told him, I said, I'm so frustrated. I couldn't get everything that I wanted to say. out. <laughs> I was so frustrated. <laughs> So I'm not a, I'm not a texter, you know, I'm not one that sit there and, and text. So I was like, it was so hard. He was like, he said, well, how did it go? And I said, it was so hard me trying to text the information to, to them. It would have been easier for me to just say what I had to say. I couldn't, I had to type it in. And then I had to, you know, I was like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. So that, that didn't work out too, but he, he got a good laugh at me. <laughs> He got a good laugh at me. So that one didn't work out too well for me. So here's what I'm planning on doing. Um, if you are expecting me to have a divine message from the Heavenly Father, if you want to see me on a regular basis every day, for the most part, you cannot expect me to have a divine word 
from the Heavenly Father unless he puts it in me, right? So you have to keep in mind, Mary C. is just like you. I'm just a normal human being out here trying to do the will of the Father, okay? Someone got mixed up and, and made a comment to me a while back and uh, said something like, uh, I saw you today on online and you weren't operating... Um, you know, you weren't operating in prophecy and, and uh, with the, the Holy Spirit. Well, I don't call myself a prophet, first of all. OK, that's number one. I, I'm just a servant of the most high. Number two is I'm just a human being. And I just sometimes just want to come out and chat with you guys. Can I do that? Is that OK? Uh, without you expecting me to be, you know, have a halo on my head. I don't I don't carry a halo. I don't wear one. I'm just a normal human being just like you. Do you walk around, it, you know, uh, with the prophecy all over you and the halo and, and, and you know, uh, speaking what's divine all of the time? You don't. So why would you expect me to do that, you know? So here, here is, is the thing. If, if you guys are, are into seeing more of me, uh, without me coming out and saying, you know, I got a message or I had a dream or what have you. I, I don't have a problem doing it. I will, I will carve out some time that is between, I'm going to say 8.30, 9 o'clock, as much as I possibly can uh, to come on and do a live. Will that work for you guys? Let me know. <laughs> Excuse me. If your message is not from the Father, you can teach from the Bible. Yeah. And I'll pray about it. You know, I pray about every every time I come on here, I pray about it. Yeah, it it for me, uh, let me see. Okay, that was Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. You said if your message is not from the Father, you can teach from the Bible. Bless your heart for saying that. Thank you. Um, and Jermaine says. It doesn't work like that. Right. Um, and for some people, and maybe they have it like that. I don't have it like that. You know, the Heavenly Father, he visits me from time to time. I had a visit the other day and, and I didn't bring it to you because I don't have all of it. Sometimes you don't get the whole picture. Excuse me. Sometimes we don't we don't have all of what needs to be. So I'll ask the Father sometimes, you know, what what was what was that about? You know, what was that about? I don't always get everything. And so the other day I um, I was asleep and I woke up, okay? I'm still in the bed and the room, you could tell that the, the, the morning is coming because the, you know, you could see a little bit of the, the light coming in from, from the window. So there's a you could tell it's it's morning time. I could tell it's it's morning time, um, but not quite time for me to get up. Right, I, I knew that that's where I was at. So what ends up happening is I open my eyes and I'm facing one wall. Okay, when I open my eyes and facing this wall, if you've ever had a vision, okay, um, when you have this vision it somewhat takes you out of the area that you're in and you're in, in a new place. Can you guys relate to what I'm saying? Okay, you're in a new place. So I am still in bed. My eyes are open, but I'm in another room, if you will. All right? And I'm seeing in this vision, I'm seeing, and it's in color, okay? It's in color. Um, I see these soldiers and they are very professional looking soldiers um and they're sitting like they're taking you know how you take a family portrait they're sitting some are standing in the back and then you got the they're sitting in rows like they're taking a family portrait very serious very serious faces and they had on camouflage uh, uniforms. I don't know. Do you call it camo the uh, camouflage outfits? Are those uniforms too? Well, I don't, they weren't, it, it was camouflage. Uh, the, the camouflage was, they had a little bit on the, 
on the, the shoulder area, I want to say, like up in this area of the camouflage, the rest of it was like a sweater. Okay. And then they had pants that matched the camouflage on the tops. I don't know if you've ever seen anything like that. So they had on, they had on sweaters and there was a little bit of the camouflage color was in the sweater. And then it was the pants were camouflage and they weren't the green camo camouflage, excuse me. They were colorful, kind of not like purple and green. They were, they were uh, uh, military green with uh, like a, a caramel color, not yellow, but not brown. It, it, it was, but it was a, a nice combination. It was a nice combination of what they look like. And then they had this hat on and the hat was like a, a tam that had a little bit of a bent to it. So it kind of came in the front like this. And so they were sitting there. And then, you know, it's like they took the picture and then afterwards they kind of relaxed a little bit and they were kind of conversating between the two. And then the picture faded and it was gone. And when I say the picture faded, it's like I no longer am in that room with them and I'm sitting, I'm, I'm still in the bed. And I was like, wow, right? But I have no idea yet. I'm waiting what that was all about. So what did I do? I get up. And the first thing is I'm looking for that camouflage. Who are these soldiers? What nation are they from? And the closest I was able to find, the closest I was able to find is because, and if you guys are military, you can help me out out there because I went looking for this camouflage, asking what nations, what, what are the camouflage for per nation? And I, apparently we don't put that information out there. We don't want folks to know what our camouflage looks like uh, because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find what I was looking for, let's say, um, what our camouflage was like. And then I went looking for others. And it's not something that is out there uh, for the, the general public to, to know, apparently. So I asked my husband, who is ex-military, about it. And he pretty much said, well, yeah, they, and they change it up. And when they change it up, you might find out about the old ones, but you're not going to find out about the new ones. And that's what he was pretty much saying. <clears throat> so there was a subtle message that went along with those soldiers. And the subtle message that I got later on, and I still don't understand it, is that Somehow or another, these soldiers were associated with a little girl, a little school age girl around seven years old in that range. And she has a uniform on. She has a school uniform on. Okay. Somehow or another, they're tied to this, this little girl. I don't, that's all I got. Okay, that's all I got. So I was asking, Father, what is this all about? What am I supposed to do with that? You know, why did I see this vision? It was not a dream. I was awake. My eyes were open. I saw the room open up. I'm in this other room, no longer in my bedroom. And then when it was over with, that closed up. And now I'm back in my, my, my home. So, you know, these things happen uh, from time to time but I'm not giving everything. So when I hear of someone who on a daily basis is, you know, rolling out prophecy after prophecy after prophecy, it, it, it doesn't work that way for me. You know, it just doesn't work that way for me. So they're blessed in a different way than I am because I'm, I don't get it like that. So anyhow, family, Khaki color? No, it's it. Uh, uh, there's khaki, and and that was who was that? A Y. There's khaki. Khaki is like a beige, or uh, 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 yeah, like a, a a darker beige, I guess you could say, uh, tan kind of. I know what khaki looks like. Khaki can also be like the the lighter military part of the green. Okay, khaki. It it, it has, but this is no. I found one. I found a a camouflage 
that is pretty much exactly what I saw. Whether or not it really is true to that country, I can't really say. And the reason why I say that is because when I found this camouflage, it wasn't, it was something that was being sold at a store. Okay. So I don't know if that truly is a military uh, camouflage, but I did find it. And they did have a country associated with this. It was a jacket. I found a jacket. And there, the country that was associated to this jacket, this camouflage jacket was Japan. It was Japan. That, they, that this jacket had this, the right colors, all of the right colors in it, that these pants of these soldiers that they wore was the same camouflage as this jacket. So I, I, I don't know if it truly is Japan's cam camouflage. Okay, the majority of other nations, Shomer says, uh, Shalom, Shalom, Shomer Ephraim says, majority of other nations' airborne units use berets, regular gr grunts, regular head fear, no pun intended. Okay, and, and, and this was, they, they had the hats on their heads, and I'm telling you, it had that little lean to it. And it was like a fold almost, I want to say. I don't know if there was a real fold in it, but it had that, that little lip that, that was over just over one side. I have not heard any, any sounds in the sky, uh, a wife. Anybody else have, have heard those? Uh, okay. CC says... She's beginning to have open visions, right? Uh, you know, I call them, uh, you know, you're awake, you know, you're awake, awake visions, you know, you're awake, you know, you're awake, you know what I'm saying? No sounds. Okay. A lot of people are saying, what, what does it sound like? Monica, Monica's asking, what does it sound like? Something humming. That's interesting. I've not really heard anything that sounds like humming. If I tell you guys some of the things that I deal with, <laughs> you'll stop following me. <laughs> if I tell you some of the things that, that Mary C. hears and, and, and sees, my goodness. If I tell you some of the experiences that I've had, I, I don't, you, you probably say, you know, go lock that woman up. <laughs> okay. Special forces. Lovely day says the people that I've seen are special forces. Okay. That, that could be. Okay. Now this one has got the, the 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 colors that I saw were not the blue, blue or or he said light blue and dark blue. All right. Please share. <laughs> Please share them with you. <laughs> well, uh I've not been hearing humming lately. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you, I have not been hearing humming lately, but I've been hearing things. And I'm thinking that they're getting more solid than they were in the past. I'm hearing conversations or voices of people talking. And I can't quite make out yet what they're saying. Um, for the longest, the sounds that I was hearing were what, what they today, I guess, call white noise. It's in the background. 
um, you know, like I said beforehand, if you're watching television and you, you live in a, a neighborhood where people are going up and down the streets in their cars, you hear the cars going by, but that doesn't distract from you watching television or whatever you're doing. You still focus in and can hear what's going on on the television. But at the same time, you've got that noise that goes on in the background that you hear, you're aware of it, but it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it, your, your focus isn't totally on it. So when I hear, um, it, you know, if I hear trumpets, if I hear the sound of the, sh the chauffeur going, if I hear things like that, normally it's it's a low volume, low, very, uh, a very low sound. I'm aware of it, but it doesn't det detract from whatever else I'm doing or hearing or, or you know, what's going on. So I've been hearing uh, the sound of the horn for at least a couple of years. And then it went from being the horn to me hearing something that sounded a little musical like chimes. But chimes is, you know, when it, a chime is hit by the wind, it makes that tinkling sound and then it, that's it. It tinkle, tinkle, and that's it. The sound that I hear is a continual, it's musical. It's got a musical note to it um, when I would hear it. It has that musical note. And I still hear that from time to time. But lately, one of the things that I have been hearing are actual voices, so much so that they've gotten a little louder. They're not just subtle, so much so that I would actually look over my shoulder sometimes to see if there's someone there. If I am out and about, I'm shopping and, you know, you got the noise of stuff that's going on around you, but I hear the voice. And I will stop and, and look to see, and there's no one there. At home, I hear it. And I think maybe it's someone outside. It's not. There's no one there. And so lately, they're increasing, and the sound is getting a little bit louder. So I'm, I'm thinking that there's going to come a time when those sounds will actually be um, voices that I can actually hear and understand. Hear to the point of their, how can I put this? Right now it's muffled. Okay, so I can, I can, I understand that that's what, that there are voices. I understand that they're voices, if that makes sense. But I can't make out what they're saying. And I think that it's going to come to a point where I will get to the, to, to be able to understand and make out what they're saying. But that's what I'm hearing lately. Is anybody else hearing the voices? Now the vision part of it, that's never been a problem, but the, the hearing part of it, this is the, the voice part of it, that's something that's a little bit new. And every now and then I will hear someone call my boy, my name. Shalom, shalom, beauty in the light. It's good to see you here. And also, um, I saw somebody say hello to Grammy Yah. So if you're here, Grammy Yah, shalom, shalom, sweetheart. It's good to see you here. And Ruby Jeffries as well. Daphne Felix, shalom, shalom, everyone. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, I, uh, Connie, you missed the whole conversation, sweetheart. I did a, a video yesterday, and I talked about that movie, White Noise. I, I uh, told people that about the, the folks that participated in it were actual, uh, as extras, were actual people from that town that had the derailment. So you missed that, honey. You're going to have to go back and, and see the, uh, the, the previous video. Shalom, shalom, chosen to preach. It's good to see you and chosen one indeed. It's good to see you guys. And Ina Ephraim, good to see you. Okay, so family, I'm, I'm going to cut it short. We're, we're at an hour and a half and I'm going to uh, wish you all a good rest of your day. Don't feel... You know, don't feel that you have not done enough, you know, when it comes to prepping. 
Don't feel that you have not done enough. Take it to the Father. Uh, the enemy will, will always have you in your feelings. Always. He, he wants you to be in your flesh. Trust the Father. Trust that whatever goes on, he will he will make a way for you. If you need to purchase things, purchase them if you have the ability to do so. Uh, again, take everything to the Father. Please do that. So everyone on the chat, thank you so much for coming out and, and joining me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for the love gifts. Everyone that, uh, that sends things my way, know that it is really and truly appreciated. I love you all. I do. And I pray for each and every one of you. So family, extend that love to the rest of the family, the rest of the folks that you see on the chat and, and to their extended families. Pray for all of us. Pray for all of us. The, the Heavenly Father is moving in this land. He's moving around the world, but he is moving in this land. You're seeing things and you're going to be seeing things left and right. You're going to see more than what you see in Ohio going on. The judgments are being laid out. Just get out of the way. Pray his will be done. Okay. Pray his will be done. Get out of the way and let him do what he said he was going to do. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. This place is being punished as it should be. As it should be. So I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> but know this, our Heavenly Father, he loves you so much more. Shalom, family. Have a good one.